Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike VR. Today is Tuesday, and it's July 21st. I hope you guys are having a great morning so far. Uh, we do, again, uh, as yesterday's report indicated, that um, this week there will be a little light on economic data, and today is no, uh, no difference. Uh, there's no economic data today, uh, so we'll just jump right along to the headline news. Uh, stocks are up this morning. We do got some uh, earnings reports. Some we're starting to get some of the technology ones, and some of them are coming in fairly favorable. IBM came in some favorable ones. We had Lockheed Martin, and as well as Coca-Cola, came out with some of their uh, their uh, earnings reports as well. Um, so the markets are kind of taking their action from uh, these headline news. Uh, EU, uh, this is kind of probably the bigger one bigger impact on the market. EU passed their $858 billion in loans grants to troubled countries. Uh, this is kind of uh, kind of like a stimulus package to try to help out those countries that are kind of suffering during the pandemic and try to help themselves through uh, these troubled times. Uh, as here in the U.S., we're still, Congress is kind of meeting and trying to get things together for the next uh, round that will be going. Uh, there's obviously some discrepancies, whereas um, one doesn't want to spend as much more more than we have to, where the other one wants to spend a lot more money. Uh, again, there's differences in opinions as to how uh, how much and uh, where uh, the money should be allocated. So uh, we'll have to kind of wait and see when and if this comes about, and especially when we have people on employment making an extra six hundred dollars per month. Uh, that that will expire at the end of this month. Uh, also on the uh, docket today, we have a couple of. Uh, New Fed uh, Reserve nominees. Uh, we have Judas Shelton and Christopher Waller. Uh, they'll be going through a Senate committee right now, uh, meeting with them. And we'll have to wait and see if they work their way through. Uh, let's work our way to the uh, MBS. And MBS, uh, as you can see, it did start off a little bit lower this morning. But however, it is up. We're currently up about six basis points uh, from where we left off yesterday. And uh, so that basically means there's no change in pricing so far. We'll have to wait and see if uh, we can increase this or if this will come back down uh, where we go. So we'll want to keep an eye on where uh, the movement of this uh, movement of this. So let's jump ahead here to yields. Uh, yields are just under 0.61 at 0.609, and sitting kind of idle right now as well. So we've been kind of, as you can see, for the most part. About a week or week and a half here, we've been kind of in a uh, sideways pattern here. Not much uh, movement in either direction here. All right, so that's pretty much the wrap. We'll keep it short and sweet. Uh, if you guys are looking to buy or refinance, love to be able to speak with you. I am a loan officer. However, these videos that I produce here are not uh, subject to anyone else's opinions but my own. And uh, again, uh, the company I work with is a national lender, so we do loans in other states. I can certainly help uh, you guys in. I can uh, certainly help uh, at least guide you guys as to which way we can go, uh, or my company can help you guys out with uh, your refinance or purchase transactions. We can get you set up for your pre approvals uh, to buy your next property. We can also help you with your solutions of to what you want to do in terms of refinance. Uh, just I'll leave my email in the infer in the description below, and just go ahead and uh, reach out, and we'll see how we can help you guys out. You guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.